Pulp. Hello everyone, it's Game Fruit Pulp, and welcome back to another Building Toronto video. Today we're going to be doing a pretty exciting video. Um, it's a video that has been long in the works, um, and for those of you who've been following the series for a long time, you know that this is a building that's kind of been uh, in the in the wings for a while. Uh, it wasn't built by me; it was built by Starbound, the other owner of the Needscraft server. But without further ado, I give you guys Commerce Court North. Uh, this building is a pretty historic building. It's one that I wanted Star to do because he's a better builder than me at this style of build. Uh, and I wanted to make sure this was done well because this building is a pretty important building to the city of Toronto and to, uh, I guess, to the British Commonwealth in, in general as well. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, um, Commerce Court North was originally uh, built by the Canadian Bank of Commerce, which is why it's Commerce Court North now. Uh, it's part of four buildings in the uh, in a sort of complex today commerce court north commerce court west which is the small the taller tower uh commerce court east and commerce court south uh this building was the first one here obviously and it was built in 1931 like i said it was built by the canadian bank of commerce and it was obviously built to uh, house offices as well as a bank in the basement so um in our version of it we tried to do everything as best we could the interior was done by storm the exterior was done by starbound um Storm did his best to sort of articulate the cool kind of tiling on the roof of the on the ceiling of the Commerce Court, and uh, oops, and I think he did a pretty good job of it. And then this connects right into Commerce Court uh, West, as you can see. So then going up, uh, there's office towers. Nothing really too fancy about that. Just sort of uh, offices. So we're not really going to look at that. Uh, we're going to talk more about the history of this building. Uh, this building was designed by York and Sawyer, uh, which is a pretty famous design firm in the era like i said it was opened in 1931 uh, the architects were canadian they were uh, darling and pearson was the firm and it's uh, 34 stories tall which doesn't seem that tall right now like if you look at it there's all these buildings around in the area that were that are taller but if you have to think about the time that it was built in 1931 um, sort of during the great depression or right before the great depression started and this building was the tallest building in the British Commonwealth until 1962. So more than three decades, 31 years in total, it was the tallest building. So it's definitely a really historic building and a really cool building to sort of see in in, in the world. And, and it sort of um, is the first real historic building that we've added uh, to the to the city. There's not very many stories about uh, about this building. Um, there was an observation deck for a few decades up here, obviously when this was the tallest building. So it was right up here um, and, and it was shut down for insurance reasons as well as just a lack of popularity simply because it's not that great of a view anymore from up here. You used to be able to see all the way around the lake. Now you probably wouldn't even be able to see the lake from the top of this building. So it's, uh, it's a building that has definitely had its role change over time. Uh, this used to be, if you look at old pictures of Toronto, you see Commerce Court North. That's the building that sticks out. It wasn't the CN Tower. The CN Tower wasn't the building that sort of stuck out to everybody. It was the Commerce Court North building. Commerce Court North building. And uh, so it's a pretty cool build uh, that, that was done. I, like I said, I'm happy that Star did it. He did a very good job. And uh, with that, another thing that's significant about this build being done is that we've completed another city block. And so I'll fly up slowly. And you can see we've done uh, the entire block of I believe this is Bay, between uh, Bay and Young. Bay, Young, this would be Wellington, and this would be Adelaide, if I am remembering correctly. So another city block done completely, and uh, that's obviously a, a good, uh, kind of good sign that we're getting progress. Uh, the render distance is low, so you're not going to be able to actually see the floor. But uh, yeah, that is that. Nothing really else to talk about. Uh, there's been a lot of work done off camera that uh, doesn't really warrant... Uh, a, a video to be honest uh, nothing really significant but we're sort of preparing for scotia plaza as well as for uh, at the adelaide hotel this is not adelaide this is king uh is this king this is king adelaide is that street so this is king not adelaide um doing some work here and then we're sort of the plan is to go south but i have to do the road work roads for the south area and i haven't had time to so because of that i'm giving my builders builds in this area over here but uh anyways if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed First of all, thanks Star in the comments for building Commerce Score North. Um, aside from that, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and share the channel with some of your friends. I'll catch you guys all next time. If you want to check out the server or the build or the map, uh, it's on the Anitzi Craft server. IP will be in the description. 
My name is Game Free Pulp. This has been Minecraft Building Toronto, and I will catch you all next time. Have a good one.